Today we're going to look at calculations from balanced equations. These calculations come up in Unit 1 and Unit 2 of National 5 Chemistry. There are multiple ways to carry out calculations from balanced equations. This video will focus on the use of mole for the calculations. I will have a second video which looks at the use of mass for the calculations, which I will also upload shortly. To be able to do these calculations, we need to be able to calculate gram formula mass and mole. The first step in the calculations is to identify the chemicals that are involved by reading the question carefully. We're going to circle these chemicals in the balanced equation. For this first example, we're looking at carbon dioxide and propane. This means that we can ignore oxygen and water and therefore slow them out. Step 2 is to calculate the gram formula mass for the two chemicals. If you're unsure of how to calculate gram formula mass, I will have a video linked below which can help you with this. Once you've calculated the gram formula mass of both chemicals, you're now ready to calculate the moles for the chemical for which you have the mass in the question. In this case, we have, this is propane. This is because we now have two pieces of information about propane. So we have 4.4 grams of propane and a gram formula mass of 44. This gives us 0 0.1 moles of propane being burned. Step 4 is to use the mole ratio from the balance equation to allow you to calculate the number of moles of the second chemical which was actually produced. If you have 1 mole of propane, then you will produce 3 moles of carbon dioxide. To go from 1 mole of propane to 3 moles of carbon dioxide requires you to times by 3. In reality, you don't have 1 mole of propane, you only have 0 0.1 moles of propane. So we're going from left to right again, which means we need to multiply by 3. So 0 0.3 moles of carbon dioxide will be produced. This now allows you to calculate the mass of carbon dioxide which was produced by rearranging the moles mass and gram formula mass equation. We have 0 0.3 moles of carbon dioxide and we multiply by the gram formula mass of carbon dioxide calculated in step 2. This means that we produce 13.2 grams of carbon dioxide. These sorts of calculations can also involve either just the reactants or just the product or can allow you to calculate how much reactants are required from a certain amount of product. Here we're looking at the mass of oxygen needed to produce a certain amount of water. We can ignore methane and carbon dioxide from the equation. We're now going to calculate the gram formula mass of the two chemicals. Using the gram formula mass of water and the mass from the question, we're able to calculate the number of moles of water produced. Now we're going to use the balanced equation to allow us to find the number of moles of oxygen that would be required to produce this number of moles of water. If you have two moles of water, you require two moles of oxygen to produce it. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. Therefore, to produce one mole of water, you would need one mole of oxygen. Using this number of moles of oxygen and the gram formula mass from step two, we're able to calculate the mass of oxygen required. This is 32 grams. Pause the video now and try this example. So 
So in this example, we're looking at what mass of water we can produce when we burn a certain amount of ethanol. So first of all, we're going to circle the two chemicals that we're interested in and get rid of the other two. We're then going to calculate the ground formula mass for these chemicals. Now using the ground formula mass and the mass of ethanol in the question, we're able to calculate the number of moles of ethanol which is used. So we can see that we use half a mole of ethanol in this reaction. We can use the mole ratio from the balanced equation to find out how many moles of water would then be produced. So one mole of ethanol would produce three moles of water. So we need to multiply by three to go from one side to the other. We have 0 0.5 moles of ethanol, so multiplied by three, we would produce 1.5 moles of water. We now have the number of moles of water and the ground formula mass, so we're able to calculate the mass of water which would be produced. This is 27 grams. Pause the video now and try this example. This example requires us to calculate the mass of oxygen that we would need to burn a certain amount of magnesium. So we're focusing purely on the reactants. The first step is to always calculate the ground formula mass of these two chemicals. Now we can use the ground formula mass of magnesium and the mass from the question to work out how many moles of magnesium were burned. Using the balanced equation, we can find how many moles of oxygen would be required. For two moles of magnesium to react, one mole of oxygen is required. To go from one side to the other, we need to divide by two. We have 0 0.2 moles of magnesium used. Therefore, we need to divide by two and we would require 0 0.1 moles of oxygen. We now have the number of moles of oxygen and the ground formula mass, so we're able to calculate the mass of oxygen that would be required in this reaction. The mass of oxygen required is 3.2 grams. Pause the video now and try this last example. The steps have been removed. So in this last example, we're looking for what mass of oxygen is needed to burn a certain amount of ethene. So again, we're just looking at the reactants. First step we need to do is to calculate the ground formula mass of both of these chemicals. Now we have the ground formula mass of ethene and the mass, we can calculate the number of moles that we're using. This is a large mass of ethene, so we should project a large number of moles of ethene. We can now use the balanced equation to allow us to calculate the number of moles of oxygen that would be required. If we have one mole of ethene, we would get three moles of oxygen. This is a multiplying by three. We have 20 moles of ethene. Therefore, when multiplied by three, we would require 60 moles of oxygen.
Now using the moles of oxygen and the ground formula mass of oxygen, we can calculate the mass of oxygen that would be needed. This would be 1920 grams. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!